My name is Leslie, and I manage the vertebrate live animal programs here at the Natural History Museum. Today's lunchtime with live animals is one of my favorite animals, although rather a misunderstood animal. It's the snakes, of course. This is Manzanita. Everyone say hi, Manzi. Manzi is a coast mountain king snake, and what a gorgeous little animal he is. Can you believe it? Oh, I just love him. Now, mountain king snakes are from SoCal Mountains, hence the name, and a little bit further north, too. Real quick, just a little map there. You can see they're pretty special to our coast, actually. They range in California, so I'm really happy to be sharing him with you today because they're really special animals. Now, they're really shy little guys, so I'm gonna try to tell you about his tiny little life, but I'm also going to try to appeal to those of you who are maybe a little bit nervous about snakes. It's pretty common, and it's okay. I think it helps a lot to understand what you're seeing. Okay, so what we're gonna do today is learn to speak snake. How fun is that, right? So first of all, you're probably wondering, is he venomous? He's not, actually. I wouldn't be holding him in my hands. Not everything with bright colors is venomous, but don't tell the larger predators. He actually benefits from looking rather like, I'm gonna show you a rubber animal, the venomous coral snake, okay? Some predators might see these bright colors and kind of give them a little bit of space, you know? Just, just leave them alone just in case. Weirdly, there are no coral snakes here in the California fossil record. Funny, right? What's the only venomous snake here in California? Do you know? It's the rattlesnake. It's the only one, okay? Now again, don't tell the predators <laughs> that he's not venomous. He just wants to be left alone. Like all snakes, even venomous ones, they just want to be left alone. They want to have a quiet little life with a full belly. Just like those, like all of us, right? So, it's important to give snakes space, okay? So what is a full belly to a guy like this? Well, in the mountains, he might find himself some lizards, he might find some birds, he might find some mice, you know, whatever will fit in his face, okay? That's how most snakes are. But they don't call him the king snake for nothing. He's also a snake hunter. In fact, they eat rattlesnakes. What? Rattlesnakes? That's right. They are immune to rattlesnake venom. In fact, rattlesnakes know that this is trouble when they see it and they hightail it, kind of literally. The only thing they can do is lift up the center of their body like a body bridge to bring it down on as, as a defense against the king snake. That's all they can do because their venom is useless, all right? So, you know, it's kind of cool to imagine such a thing. In fact, it doesn't always work though, because here we go. We got ourselves a mountain king snake eating a rattlesnake. How crazy is that? So snakes are both predator and prey to a lot of different animals, but we don't really give them credit for being, you know, really important links in the food chain. Why? I think people are afraid of them, that's all. So again, I want to help you know what you're seeing so you can just sort of enjoy watching such a gorgeous little animal. Okay, so what is it that we can learn about snake body language? Well, what is body language? First of all, I hope you're reading my body language as positive and friendly because that's how I'm hoping to appear and that's how I feel. All right, now if I was doing this, you'd know I was bored right? Let's look at another familiar animal besides me. How about a cat? Can you imagine a scared cat? I bet you can. Were well, you imagining this, right? It's a very familiar animal. So I'm going to help you read snake body language too, so that again, maybe you'll feel more comfortable when you see one in the future. Let's start with what is calm body language. Here's Manzanita, okay? Loose, relaxed coils. He's just looking around and exploring. He's not really looking at me. He's not really looking at much of anything in particular. You also notice what he's doing with his tongue? It's called tongue flicking, right? He's doing it kind of quickly and regularly. Tongue's about halfway out. He's just relaxed and exploring the world around him, 
All right, now why are they tongue flicking? So they can sense, I bet you knew that one. They smell and taste with their tongue. It gives them lots of information about the world around them. So what do snakes do when they're scared? Don't say bite. I hope you didn't say bite. Because actually a snake really just wants to avoid trouble. Trust me, they don't want to be bothered. In fact, the first thing they try to do is hide. Okay, here's some pictures of our snakes doing some pretty good hiding. This is where they're most comfortable at night when they're asleep. They like to be in closed areas. Our rosy boa there, the pink and gray one's not doing a great job of totally hiding his body. <laughs> it's pretty cute. But that's what they want to do. They want to be hidden. Okay. So let's look at what some nervous body language would be. Now you might know about sounds they make, right? They might make a hiss, hissing sound when they're nervous. Sometimes it's just breathing, but sometimes they hiss. Sometimes they might make a twitching, rattling sound with their tail in the leaves. Even snakes who don't have rattles can make that sort of twitching, rattling sound if they are um, in a bunch of leaves, for example. So they try to let you know that they're there, okay? So let's look at some physical body language, because again, they don't want a confrontation. They just want to be left alone. But let's look at what a scared body looks like. Look at that guy. He is super nervous. We got tight, tense muscles. His head is up. Notice his tongue is all the way out. His tail is up, right? We got a very nervous little guy in this photo. And also, you notice the coil is tightly back, right? Remember we said loose, relaxed? Do this with me, young ones. Loose, relaxed snake, scared snake, right? Loose, relaxed snake, scared snake. Tight S shape, so if he had to strike out, if he really had to, he could more easily, okay? So big difference, right? Tightness. Now take a look at this guy. Is that in focus? Look at that long tongue. He's holding it out as far as he can. He's even got the fork spread out. How cool is that? That's kind of like us humans with our eyes wide open because we're trying to figure out what's happening around us. That's the snake version, okay? And we have a snake here who's trying to make himself look really big. Lots of snakes try to do that. He's even doing that right here. Cobras are really good at it, <laughs> but other snakes can puff out to make themselves look big too. And how about this one here? What do you see? What's this snake doing? Don't say biting. He's actually not. He's just got his mouth open, right? We don't know that he's biting. There's nothing in his mouth. He might not actually bite. Sometimes they just hold their mouth open as a way of reminding you, hey, I got a mouth. Please leave me alone. This is usually combinations of these behaviors. Just because you hear a hiss doesn't mean it's scared. Sometimes it's breathing. Just because you hear a little rattle. Our rattlesnake one time when he was asleep, uh, he had its back turned to me. He took a deep breath, and in his sleep, he made a little ch -ch -ch rattle sound was really cute, actually. <laughs> so, you know, you're looking for combinations of these behaviors, okay, to know if you have yourself a nervous snake. Are you ready for a test? Do you want to practice? I bet you can do this. All right. There's Manzi again, in case you were missing him. Okay. How about this snake here? Is he scared? I see loose, relaxed coils. His tongue's out, but he's just curious. It's just the tongue, right? Otherwise, he's loose and relaxed and exploring. Here's a picture of Manzi himself. <laughs> there he is. He was very curious about Maze, the photographer, that day, so he's got his tongue out pretty far, right? Just curious, but otherwise, his body was pretty relaxed, all right? Here we go. Here's another one. Nervous snake? Yeah, you got yourself a scared guy. He's really tense, isn't he? Ooh, his head is up, his tail is up. That is a very scared little animal. All right, getting trickier. How about this guy? Is he scared? I think he's probably pretty alert. Yeah, his head is up. He's still kind of central. He's got that tight S, right? But maybe a little bit less scared than the previous guy. Kind of interesting, right? Are you getting it? Are you starting to see the subtle difference? How about this guy? I see an S. Just kidding. No, this one's sleeping. He's just curled up, not even looking at the camera, no tongue out, no mouth open, right? Sleeping snake. Okay, how about this one? Did you say biting? Don't say biting. He's actually not even doing a warning. This is a funny one. The snake is yawning. Did you know snakes can yawn? <laughs> the mouth is open so wide he can't even see the camera person, so we know he's not scared of it. They're actually yawning. How cute is that? 
Okay, how about this one? If you said scared, you were right. His mouth is open. He's not looking at the camera. He's actually feigning death. Isn't that cool? Some snakes can actually feign death. And last but not least, how about this? Aw, not scared. That's actually a mama rattlesnake hanging out with her baby. <laughs> how cute is that? Well, I hope I helped you see snakes in a slightly different light today, especially if you were someone who was a little bit nervous about them. We've got lots of cool animals to show you in future episodes, including more snakes and invertebrates and all kinds of stuff. But meanwhile, just take a moment to enjoy a gorgeous little animal who maybe you understand a little bit better now. If you do, let me know in the comments. And also, don't forget to follow our live animal program's Instagram feed at nhmla underscore live animals. I hope to see you guys again soon.